Hi guys, andito na naman na tayo for uh, for Bible verse kasi I just want to share a Bible verse every day. Uh, ang ang i-discuss ko ngayon, i-share ko yung John 3:16 kasi 'di ba? Uh, month of Lent ngayon, yung fasting and prayer, yun ang pinaka-importante naman nating gawin, 'di ba? Kaya nga, andito ako ngayon, gusto ko mag-share ng mabuting balita para sa inyo. Pero, pero bago ang lahat, mag-pray mag -pray muna tayo para for the goodness of our spiritual diba, intention, and all our intention, especially yung mga nagsasuffer na sana through our prayers, nagagaling sila, or ano man yung mga pinag pinagdadanan nila. Amen? Okay, let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, Almighty, Eternal God, we worship you, we love you, Father, we glorify you, we praise you, Father Almighty, in your Son, Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, Holy Father, we are here in your Holy Presence, Father Almighty. Uh, we asking a prayer, Father Almighty, those people who are suffering from any inner, any circumstances, illnesses, anxieties, Father Almighty, in the hospital, bless them, Father Almighty, to roll our prayers, Father Almighty, that they are fully cured and healed through the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ to our prayers, and especially those people who are looking for a job, that they can find a job, O Holy Father Almighty, and those people hunger and thirst, that they can food, uh, that they can eat, and they can drink, Father Almighty, and those people who are who are OFWC first, Father Almighty, fill them, your holy presence, Father Almighty, to encounter you, Father Almighty, with the, with the gracious grace of you and Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, with the, all the protection of the Holy Spirit, and in people around the world, Father Almighty, and especially our beloved President, Rodrigo Roa Thirty, and all their cabinet, the soldier, and fallen men, that they are all protected by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the cross, that they are all protected, and especially Father Almighty, I am keep praying for the incoming election, Father Almighty and we believe and we keep praying Father Almighty that you will appoint a good leader uh, a good leader, Father Almighty to sit in the, in the Senate, Father Almighty uh, to clean up all the mess in the past administration and especially those drug lords addicts, Father Almighty, enlighten their hearts and their mind that they are going to turn their wicked ways and to turn back to you, O Holy Father Almighty. And especially those people who are suffering from any any financial problem, Father Almighty, through our prayers, that hopefully, Father Almighty, that you will fill, fill them up, Father Almighty, with your grace and blessings and na, na pinagdadaanan nila Father Almighty and thank you so much for everything Father Almighty for our life the food that we ate the earth that we brought and thank you so much for the goodness uh, for the good health Holy Father Almighty and especially thank you so much for protecting us from evil especially Father Almighty for every one of us to our beloved to our beloved my families and loved ones says thank you so much for your love and protection of Holy Father in the name of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sana guys, kung sino man yung nakakainig ngayon, huwag niyo pong, huwag po kayong ano, mag-hesitate na na mag na, na mag-message dito sa baba kung ano man yung gusto niyong prayer na ipagpipray natin, lalo na yung mga nagkakasakit, yung mga prayers na, na yung nasa hospital ngayon, especially what did uh, what, uh, kung ano yung mga pinagdadaanan nila sa buhay ngayon, okay? Wag, wag, nyo, wag, wag kayong mahiyang mag-message guys para ma-pray over natin, okay? Yun ang pinaka-importante na hindi isipin natin prayer is the most effective remedies to defend life and to her life. Mag, um, ang doktor na makakagamot lahat pero by the hands of our Father that you will become cured and healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yun ang pinaka-importante sa buhay natin. Amen. Katulad na lang yung sa prostate ng 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 parents in law ko, yung 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 father in law father-in-law ko na may nagkasakit siya ng prostrate through our prayers with my beloved husband naging okay na siya at thanks God hindi na siya nag hindi na niya iniindang yun 
and and we are so thankful about that because through our prayers na it is coming from our hearts na talagang ini-meditate namin at pinipray namin every day so guys and dito naman tayo ngayon na pagus na i-share ko sa inyo because to, uh, this is the month of Lent fasting and praying di ba fasting and prayer Ayaw nga guys, andito ako ngayon to share the good news of the gospel. Kasi gusto ko na to spread out the good news of the gospel all over the world. Sana makakarinig kayo na talagang tumag-usap po sa tisipan nyo na importante talaga yung pag-ibig at, at bumalik sa Diyos. We have to to cleanse our heart. We have to cleanse our soul through our prayers and go to repent yun ang pinaka-importante in this time we have to repent and especially ang gusto kong i-share sa'yo na gospel ngayon is John 3.16 kasi yung John is John 3.16 for God so loved the world who, who gave us His only begotten Son whoever believes in Him we have eternal life di ba? ang ganda mismo ang even, na si Father God mismo ang nagbigay sa atin ng kanyang anak to redeem us from our sins on the cross through crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Isipin nyo kung gaano kahabag, kung, kung gaano tayo kamahal ng Diyos na sa dami-dami ng mga prophets from the Old Testament hanggang ngayon, di ba? Kasi din, yung yung past, yung mga old, yung mga ating ancestors, hindi sila niniwala sa, sa mga prophets, di ba? Pero ngayon, na kahit si Jesus Christ dumating na hindi pa rin sa naniniwala, pero pero may mga ang naniniwala sa kanila yung mga mahihirap na tao, yung mga gent, yung mga 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 pulubing, mga pulubi, di ba? Katulad natin ngayon, we are Gentiles, but but we are thankful that we are believing in Jesus Christ na, di ba? Kuya, yun ang pinaka-importante sa atin ngayon na kung paano binigay ng Diyos ang mga makapangyarihan sa kan- ang lahat, ang kanyang bugtong anak, in order for us to turn back to Him. Na we have uh, only Father God reconciled the world. Sipin mo, tayo na nga nagkakasala, pero si Father God pa mismo ang nag-reconciled His human in in this world, di ba? Yun isipin mo isipin mo kaya di ba sa di ba sa sa pamilya natin in, kapag black sheep ka pinabaliwala ka na lang pero ang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat mahabagin sa atin di ba kung gaano di ba mismong anak niya inoffer niya in order for us to be saved from our sins di ba from our abomination, di ba? From sa ating karumaldumal na mga kasalanan. Yun. Yan, isipin natin kung gaano tayo kahabag. Kaya, ngayon pa lang, guys, na ilapit na natin, let us draw ourselves into into our Father in Heaven to the way of Jesus Christ. Kasi, only Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life going to the kingdom of our Father in Heaven. Kaya nga, guys, isipin natin how much we love us God gave His Son for our sake. God reconciled the world for our sake. Isipin mo yun. Dahil, kaya nga ang gusto na ni Father, ni Father God, ang bumalik loob tayo sa Kanya, we have to turn back to Him. Draw near to Him. Yun ang pinaka-importante na, na kahit everyday, guys, mag, magbasa kayo ng Holy Bible every day and every chapter. Kasi yun ang ginagawa namin na after, na after namin magpray mag 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 delivers kami every day na every chapter kami yun ang pinaka importante balik tayo guys na ang importante dito yung bumalik tayo sa Diyos kung isipin natin kung paano tayo minahal kasi di ba sa lahat kasi ng mga di ba minsan sa problema natin hindi natin naiisip ang Diyos na na imbis ang Diyos ang dapat nating lapitan kasi siya lang ang tanging makakapagbigay sa atin ng kaliwanagan ng ating isip at ating isip o puso kasi siya ang gumawa na at, gumawa sa atin he is the only creator in this world kaya nga kaya para sa atin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na na 'di ba pag may problema tayo 'di ba isipin natin pag may problema tayo parang piling natin na wala nang tutulong sa atin parang tapos sinisisi pa natin ang Diyos bakit ganito bakit ganito bakit dahil kulang kayo sa pag-ibig 
wala ang Diyos sa puso nyo, wala ang Diyos sa relationship ninyo, wala ang Diyos sa, sa buhay nyo, wala ang Diyos sa pamilya nyo. Pero, if you put it God in your relationship, in your family, in your hearts, you will bloom, well prosper, and well productive. Yun ang tandaan nyo, God. Kasi, isipin nyo, si Father God, binigay sa atin ang lahat-lahat, kahit mismo anak niya, he suffered death. And after three days, he rose again from the dead. Diba? Yan ang isipin natin, guys. Isipin natin that we are the children of God. Diba? Whatever we ask from Him, God will there for you. Na hindi never neglecting you or never forsake you. Diba? Wala namang problemang umiyak. Pero isipin nyo na kasi na na God come first before everything. Yun ang tatandaan natin. Dapat unahin natin ang pag-ibig at pagmamahal natin sa Diyos bago ang lahat. Kasi, kasi aanhin mo naman, di ba? Inaisip mo ba ngayon na sa lahat ng maraming maraming tao, mayaman nga sila pero ang kulang sa kanila ay ang Diyos. Oo nga, naniniwala sila na may Diyos pero hindi nila talagang focus ang pag-ibig at pagmamahal sa Diyos. May nagkahikahiwalay kasi kulang nga sila sa pag yung faith nila wala sa, wala ang Diyos sa kanilang buhay. Si relasyon nila sa konting away lang, wala na. Diba? Dapat ratagin ninyo ang, kanyong, ang inyong mga puso't isipan sa pag-ibig at pagmamahal sa Diyos at laging, laging maglap, lumapit ang inyong kauluban at ang inyong sarili sa Diyos. Kasi yun ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, ang lumapit sa Diyos na ialay ang inyong buhay, ang inyong puso para lang sa Kanya. Isipin natin dito sa mundo na hindi lang tayo lumalakad ayon sa kagustuhan natin but the will of our Father in Heaven. Kaya nga, tatandaan natin kung paano binigay ni Father God ang kanyang anak in order for us to be saved and He is the one who reconciled us in this world. Yan tandaan natin. Kaya nga, sa pagsubok sa buhay natin, huwag natin kalimutan na may Diyos tayong makapangyarihan sa lahat at bumalik loob tayo sa Kanya. Dahil, handa siyang magpatawad, di ba? Handa kanyang tanggapin, basta buong puso ka lang bumalik sa Kanya at huwag nang gawin ang mga mga past abomination na ginagawa mo. Okay? Amen? Amen, guys? Diba? Yan ang pinaka-importante lalo na sa ngayon sa mga paghihirap natin, yung mga nakakaawa na ngayon mga, mga kapatid natin, our brothers na yung mga dahil sa drugs, diba? Namamatay sila just because tapos hindi sila nakakapag-repent, diba? Ine-expect mo ba na talagang makakapunta sila ng langit? Hindi. Kasi alam natin na we're all saved by the grace of our Father in Heaven. Dahil dito pa lang sa mundo, hindi, hindi na sila naniwala sa Diyos at hindi nila pinigyan ng pagkakataon na bumalik sa Diyos. Namatay na lang sila na without uh, without turning to God. No repent, di ba? Kasi repent is the way to the kingdom of our Father in Heaven. Kaya ngayon, na a, a month of Lent, na a month of Lent, rather, na kailangan natin to repent, to cleanse our heart, to purify our heart, to sanctify our body and our soul. Kaya, bumalik tayo, let us turn to our Father. Kaya, yun ang pinaka-importante. Kasi, kung gaano tayo kimahal ng Diyos na binigay ang kanyang anak, dapat tayo bumalik sa kanya. Kahit anong mga pinag pinagdadaanan natin ngayon sa buhay natin. Yun ang pinaka-importante sa buhay natin, whatever it takes na na, na, na pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, isipin natin na my Diyos, we have a greater one God in our back. Yan ang importante sa buhay natin. Na talagang importante yung pag-ibig at pagmamahal natin sa Diyos. Ang tandaan natin kung paano niya binigay ang kanyang anak, nagsasuffer sa cross for the sake of our sins. He, re he redeemed us on the, on the cross through crucifying on the cross our Lord Jesus Christ. ba diba? Isipin natin yun guys, tanda natin na bumalik tayo sa Diyos na kahit anong mga pagsubok, whatever trials that comes in our life, isipin natin na may Diyos na siya lang tami na, na makakapagtibag sa lahat ng mga trials na, na dumating sa buhay natin. Tanda natin yun guys na yun ang pinaka-importante sa buhay natin, ang bumalik loob sa Diyos at repent, yun ang talagang importante. We have to repent because repent because repent is the way 
the only way to the kingdom of our Father in heaven. Amen, guys. Sana mag-subscribe kayo, guys, para alam nyo everyday kasi ako mag mag-share ng mabuting balita para 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 sa inyo at huwag kayong uh, do not hesitate to comment below para sa inyong personal na na prayers para ma-pray over natin. Okay? Amen, guys. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Sana ma-enlighten ang mga puso't isipan nyo na bumalik sa Diyos. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks, God, sa mabuting balita na pinag-share namin ngayon din yung Jesus Christ, the Pope, the Holy Spirit. Okay? Let us pray na, guys. Okay, let us pray. O Holy Father Almighty, through His Son Jesus Christ, we would like to say thank you, O Holy Father, for the good news of the gospel that we are spreading out, O Holy Father Almighty. Thank you so much for your word that will sanctify our body, our heart, our mind, and let us spread and spread. Uh, I spread out the good news of the gospel all over the world, Father Almighty, that people can hear and to sanctify our their bodies, Father Almighty, and let them to spread out also the gospel, Father Almighty, what they heard right now, Holy Father. And thank you so much for everything, Holy Father, especially in our life, especially for what being uh, uh, we, what we go through right now, Father Almighty. Bless us and help us that we can go through with it, Holy Father. Thank you so much, Holy Loving Father, there is Jesus Christ that who redeem us on the cross for the sake of our sins. Holy Father, we confess in our mouth that Jesus Christ who raised up from the dead, he has ended into heaven and seated at your one, Holy Father. And we accept Jesus into our life, O Holy Father Almighty. And hopefully that you that all our names is already written in the book of life, Father Almighty. Help us and save us on your judgment day, Father Almighty, with your holy grace. And this is all I ask. Holy Father Almighty, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Pope, the Holy Spirit, especially part of my day bless those people who are suffering from any circumstances holy father bless them and and forgive them, Holy Father, Almighty, all their sins against you, Holy Father. I believe in the name of Jesus Christ and the Pope, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, guys. God bless, and I love you all. May the Lord God bless you.